Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Full Face Friday. Full Face Friday. Full Face Friday. Kinda new makeup. Kinda new makeup. Putting some makeup on my face. You've kind of already seen some of this stuff on my face. On Friday. On Friday. On Friday. <coughs> <coughs> And this is actually going to be the last Full Face Friday of November because next Saturday is December 1st, which is absolutely insane. Time is flying like nobody's business. And wow, what I just do? That's gonna be the start of Landmas. So if you guys didn't know, every year I do Vlogmas, AKA Landmas, and it's gonna be 24 videos in December until Christmas. So from December 1st to December 24th, there's going to be a video every single day, full on beauty videos, clothing videos with some vlogs, mixed in as well and then throughout the 24 videos I do my 12 days of landmas giveaways so there's gonna be 12 big giveaways that I've been preparing for and planning so no full face Friday next week but there is going to be 24 videos following that so I kind of just wanted to sorry I'm just putting the primerizer on my skin's feeling really really dry I wanted to chat with you guys kind of talk about some new makeup but also talk about some makeup that I've been loving recently and in Sunday's video I posted my hair care routine and so many of you asked about the makeup which I find so funny because people get upset there's like two and two there's some people that get really upset about me posting the same looks all the time and then there's some people who just want the same looks all the time so in that hair care video it's literally the exact same makeup that I had filmed in my holiday get ready with me like the same cat eye same shadows and everything but I figured I'd kind of reiterate the makeup I've been loving and kind of show you my updated base and just just talk about some stuff so that's pretty much what I want to do today. I am drinking Red Bull in a mug because I am so tired. <laughs> I feel like I say that in every single video and you guys are probably like, shut up. <laughs> but it's true. I am a sleepy land. We've still been doing the ride challenge. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you probably very annoyed if you do but the spin studio I've been going to they've been having a their November blackout challenge and we've been doing it every day we've we've skipped a couple but it's 24 rides in 30 days we're almost done we're almost on the challenge but it's been really tough and like it's been really good I've been noticing like such a difference in my body I've been loving it so I feel like that's just making my body like exhausted because I've just never done so much activity or so much cardio like all in a row I usually really love to give myself breaks in between my exercises Myself. I'm actually just gonna start putting some things on my face so I can talk about some updates with you. First of all, I'm gonna use this Indeed Labs Nano Blur, Nano Blur <laughs> Color Corrector. First of all, I had no idea that they were Canadian. They are fully based and like product development and made everything here in Toronto, which I thought was really cool. We had a meeting with them last week and this isn't sponsored by the way, but they showed us their new color correctors and this is the yellow one. This one evens the skin tone and brightens. And if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you'll know that I love the Indeed Labs 10 Balm. I used up two of them last winter. It's super good. And I actually need to bring that back in my rotation. But again, as I've mentioned before, I try to not open too many products at once. Like I really like to open up a face cream use it up and then I'll move on to something else but their 10 bomb is so good and it's incredibly affordable from the drugstore and it's freaking made in Canada and I'm so sad I didn't know that I totally thought Indeed Labs was from the UK but anyway it was so nice meeting them they have such a wonderful team and a really cute office here in Toronto and yeah they came out with new color correctors so this one I don't know if you guys noticed but it really just warms up and brightens the skin they have one for redness they have one for lackluster dull skin I'm gonna put two layers of this on because I really want to add warmth to my skin but it's so good the indeed labs is amazing if you have really sensitive skin they have their hydraluron hydraluron i forget how they say it they have a lot of amazing amazing face creams if you have dry sensitive skin and if you're looking for something more affordable from the drugstore it's great love their color correctors i love that they came out with that and it just puts such a nice base on the skin underneath foundation and i also wanted to show you guys the foundation i've been using over the last week or so clinique actually sent me a package and i've never tried clinique foundations and i was super curious to try them and they sent over the even better glow light reflecting makeup this is the foundation here and I was kind of skeptical I'm always scared to try new foundations just because I do have such sensitive skin but I mean Clinique is made it's all like dermatologist tested hypoallergenic all that good stuff and I have this shade ivory in this and I put it on last week for the first time and I shit you not guys I squealed a little bit I squealed when I put this foundation on my face and I'm gonna zoom you in while I apply this foundation because it's actually insane it's so good and I have been wearing it since I'm gonna put a dollop on my skin fingers there's skin on the fingers you know what I mean look at this foundation when I blend it in it is first of all the color is like perfect I love the color 
It is so smooth. It blends in beautifully with the fingers. And just look at the coverage it has. It's like light, but you can't see it on your skin. It blends in so perfectly. And it has like such an insane smoothing effect on the skin. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed. And I've been wearing it nonstop since I first tried it last week. And I just had to show you guys in a full face variety because it's definitely been my go-to foundation since. And I know it's not been that long, but it's so good. Like that was literally one swipe with my fingers. It's insane. So Clinique, thank you so much for bringing this to my life. I cannot believe I hadn't tried it sooner. And I just want you guys to know that it does hold up in a very, very cold, windy climate. This will stay on your face and it doesn't flake off. I usually have that problem in the winter time when my skin is just getting extra extra dry when there's wind and you know extra cold air makeup usually falls off of my face around my mouth because that's where I get the most dry and that's where I touch my face the most and this one doesn't budge I think that this is gonna be my go-to winter foundation I'm just putting it out there right now I know that's a big claim to make but I'm just saying that is just the foundation on its own. I mean, with the Indeed Labs color corrector underneath, adding a little bit more warmth and brightness, but it's so good. It's so good. I had to show you guys. So it's kind of a new product, new to my channel anyway, but it's also what I've been using lately. So any of the last few videos, if you guys have been liking the base that you've been seeing, this is definitely what has been on my face. I also just filmed the things I'm loving, but I've been pre-filming. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. <laughs> and while I do, I'm gonna apply the LC concealer in the shade medium, obviously. So for Landmas, 24 videos, we're actually leaving on December 11th to go to the Dominican because as you guys know, I'm obsessed with um, tans. And if you guys have been following me since the summer, I got so dark this summer. Like by the time we left Ibiza, I was using Vanessa's concealer. I was an NC 35, which is the darkest I've ever been in my life. I didn't even know that I was capable of getting that much of a tan. And for anyone who's like concerned about skin damage, I know, I know. I love being tanned, so I don't know what to tell you. I wore sunscreen and I still got tanned and I'm so thrilled. And um, it's gone and I've been really upset. And we're also in the midst of pre-filming pretty much the entirety of the 24 videos for Landmas. We want it to be filmed before we leave on December 11th. So it's just been a lot of work keeping up with three videos a week right now, meetings, and then pre-filming the 24 videos before we leave. So it's kind of been a little bit crazy, but that's basically what we're doing. So December 11th, we are leaving. We're going to the Dominican for a week. I literally just bought like the cheapest all-inclusive package that I could find on Expedia. And Dan and I are going to a beach and we're just going to go shut off and relax and try and get a tan all while the Landmas videos are being uploaded. And then we're going home for Christmas and I'm excited. I love Christmas. My mom is so cute and fun during Christmas and it's going to be a blast. And I'll definitely vlog a little bit while I'm actually home doing Christmassy things. So that's pretty much all I wanted to update you guys on. <laughs> That's been what's going on. Dan's sister, Brianna, is also here visiting right now, and it's been such a blast, and she had never been to Toronto before, so we've kind of been trying to explore, and then next week, my brother Jackson and his girlfriend are coming to visit us, so it's just kind of a crazy time, and we want to go sit on a beach. So, anyway, this is also the base. LC Cosmetics Concealer, so beautiful, like the mixture of these two things. It's so good. I'm obsessed and I'm not even gonna powder because I don't feel like I need powder. I'm going to dip into my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow because I'm so happy to be reunited with this. And I feel like this is a cool toned enough bronzer that I don't really need that much of a contour. So I'm just gonna use this as a two in one contour and bronzing because it does say it's sculpt. I say sculpting bronzer. So I'm just going to use my e.l.f. stipple brush to apply this everywhere. I also wanted to say that I pretty much have the month planned for December, but if you guys have any particular requests for Landmas for December, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Video plans don't always go to plan and I'm always looking to have backups just in case anything goes awry. So definitely let me know if you guys have anything in particular that you want to see over the month of Landmas. I'm super excited. I haven't daily vlogged. I mean, I guess it's been since May. I usually do May and Vlogmas, but I'm just going to use the highlighting side of that. Bam. I was going to fill in my brows, but I suddenly don't feel up to it. So I think I'm just going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow on my eye brows because this particular one just adds the color actually into the brows. It has like the fibers in it. So I just like to use that when I'm feeling lazy and I don't feel like using a pencil. I also realized I skipped blush. I'm going to dip into the Hourglass palette and just mix these three together and apply that to the cheeks. 
lovely. So for the eyes, I was really excited to talk about this because I had no idea what the heck it was. And earlier today, I was trying to find this brand and like where it ships from and whatnot. And when I was typing it to Google, nothing was showing up. I had no idea like how I got it or where it came from. I didn't have any email from them or anything, but I got this package of happy mess, happy mess products. And they sent a bunch of their eyeshadows over. They sent this palette. This is, I don't give a blank eyeshadow palette. That's what it's called. And these are the colors here, super random, but like really nice warm shades. And then they also sent over some of their clickable eyeshadows, like individual eyeshadows, and you can click them together and create your own palette. So anyway, I couldn't find anything on Google. I eventually found their website and it appears as though they ship to Voo everywhere. They're from the States. These are their eyeshadows here. This one looks so stunning, actually swatched. So I really wanted to play with them today. Again, I had no idea who they were, but I'm gonna link their website and their Instagram down below. I thought it was so cute. It kind of reminded me of the new Urban Outfitters makeup. You guys have been seeing that. They came out with the makeup line called Oh Hi. Oh He? Oh Hi? Not sure what it's called. But anyway, I wanted to play with these. So that's what we're going to do right now. Again, I'll link their website below and you know, you can take a look. It looked fun, but their eyeshadows, I haven't actually put them on my eyes yet. I was just watching them and they look gorgeous. I'm going to take these two center shades here and mix them together. We'll see how they apply. They were super, super creamy and they're really affordable. I think that this, this eyeshadow palette was either 10 or $12 US, which was so insanely affordable. And they had this one there was three palettes i think and the warm shade one they had one with like an orange and a deep red and the shadow looks so beautiful i was so impressed and like for such a creamy creamy nice formula they were so affordable i'm not sure where they're available that blended out really nicely i'm just gonna put that on the other side of the crease as well i just realized i didn't put any powder to set my eyeballs so this could go incredibly awry We'll see. I'm gonna dip into this individual shadow. This is called Unaccompanied. It looked so beautiful when I swatched it on my finger and I'm hoping that it'll show up the same with a brush as well. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. It has such a pretty like pink sheen on it. I just wanted to rub that everywhere. I'm gonna take my finger and see if that intensifies it. Oh, it's such a gorgeous, unique shade. I'm obsessed placing that all over the lid and I'm just gonna blend that up into the crease as well. I'm also just gonna take that same unaccompanied shade on the lower lash line. Yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this gold. I might regret this, we'll see. Oh no, that's cute. Put that in the center of the lid super lightly these are really really pigmented just to add some light oh those two together are so nice i love that so bright and shimmery okay going back into the palette i'm going to use this lighter shimmery shade and use that to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone so so pigmented this is lovely I'm gonna dip into this deep brown shade right here and just use that to go along the lash line, intensify the lash line. And I'm tempted to even do a little bit of a wing action too, actually. Just to lift the eyes. I just like to drag it along the bottom like that and it just goes whoop opens the eyes. I feel like it makes such a difference in making you look awake. So those were those shadows. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm so impressed with the pigment and the colors are so unique. I was thinking of doing a blue look, but I also have the Huda Beauty jewel blue looks, but there's a green one too. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see one of those. And if you do, let me know if you want to see a blue or a green or both. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How did this just happen with my hair? George Washington, hello. So since filming my Charlotte Tilbury Full Face Friday, I've been obsessed with the full fat lashes because while I was filming it, I wanted something like really deep and thick and volumizing and I was kind of like, well, this one doesn't add as much volume as I would like. But for an everyday mascara, the wispy look that this mascara gives is so stunning and I've been wearing it every day since. I posted that on my stories. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you should because there's also gonna be a lot of giveaways over on Instagram over the month of December. Keep an eye out. Um, yeah, anyway, you should just follow me on Instagram anyway. 
it because I've been trying to put a lot more effort into my Instagram lately, y'all. Show your love, show your support. Adeline, where am I? <laughs> I've been obsessed with this mascara and I posted on my story saying like, oh, I kind of pooed on this mascara in the video, but I've been really loving it. And then Charlotte Tilbury reposted my story of me saying that I was pooing on her Instagram and I was like so horrified and excited all at the same time. <laughs> Uh, but Charlotte Tilbury had never posted me on anything and I was like so, so excited. I was squealing as I was opening that Instagram story. But anyway, it's a great mascara. And I feel like since it's dried a little bit, like you know when you first open a mascara and it's pretty wet. Like this one, I feel like the texture has really improved since it's been open for the last like two weeks. But it's absolutely stunning. It's such a good mascara. I've been loving a lot of mascaras lately, honestly. And that hasn't happened in a really long time. I was such a like just Lancome Miss Your Big for so long. But honestly, a lot of great mascaras have been coming out and I've been trying a lot of them. And this one I also find requires a lot less time to apply. Like I'm not putting on that many coats, like as many as I would normally do. I'm just so impressed. I might even put a little bit on the lower lashes. Who am I? Lovely. I'm gonna spritz my face with the Grey Dawn Face Food Mineral Mist. I just want my skin to be so filled with nutrients and love. Now lips. I kind of wanted to try one of the new Milk, excuse you, <laughs> one of the new Milk Makeup Wu-Tang Clan lipsticks. They came in this huge box and the packaging is insane. Look at it. Wu-Tang Clan, what up? Except they were pretty crazy colors. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping for like a really nice peachy nude that I could use in this packaging, but they were very fun, bright colors. But it was exciting because Milk Makeup hasn't really come out with anything fancy, crazy looking like this before. Like their packaging is pretty simple and nice and clean. And so this was like very fun and random for them to come out with. I thought that was nice, but I'm gonna try this deep shade. This is called Cypher. I feel like the tones will look good with this. A little bit of a deep lip. I haven't even swatched these yet. This is my virgin usage of this lipstick. Yep, I'm gonna need a lip brush for this one. And that is the Milk Makeup Cypher applied. I love this dark color. It's like a dark brown. I really like it. It kind of very nicely goes with this whole eye makeup situation. I dig. All right, everybody, that is the finished makeup look. This is kind of my recent go-to base along with some new fun makeup that I wanted to show you guys. This is the finished look, and this is the last Full Face Friday for the month of November, but don't be too sad. So many fun videos are coming up in Landmas. I hope that you guys are excited. Excited. Let the countdown to December commence. Oh my god, I just realized that this lipstick matches my nails. <laughs> How fun. But I always get shellac. For anyone who inquires about my nails, I am incapable of doing my own nails and I always have to get them done. If they're done, that means it's an unknown random shellac color. Anywho's in, that's gonna be it for this makeup, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all in Sunday's video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye!